What's up guys, we're Eminem Sauce here and today we're doing our 7th part of the Dragon Ball Z What If on What If Piccolo Was Never Born. So for the next year, the Z Fighters train hard together and get stronger. But most of the year, they were split into two groups, as the humans and Saiyans. The humans trained at King Kai's place, trying to master their Kaioken and they even learned the Spirit Bomb. With the Saiyans, they will train in the Gravity Chamber and they will all work on getting Super Saiyan. During this year, Vegeta and Bulma do have trunks. And since they all train together, it's not much of a surprise this time around. Since the power levels are not so accurate after the Frieza Saga, we're just going to say the characters strongest to weakest. So it will go from Gohan to Vegeta to Goku to Krillin to Nappa to Tien and to Yamcha. Nappa is the only Saiyan who did not achieve the Super Saiyan transformation during the years of training. But he can use up to Kaioken times 5. Humans can use more of Kaioken than the Saiyans since they train a lot with King Kai to try to master it. While the Saiyans were not too focused on Kyle Kim but Super Saiyan. When the time comes, they all meet up and watch over the city. The humans stick together while the Saiyans are away from each other. The humans end up meeting up with the androids and they begin to brawl out with Android 19 and Dr. Jerbo. Now the androids are stronger in this timeline than the canon since the bug zone never got blown up by the Saiyan attack. The androids know Kyle Ken and have information about the Super Saiyan. The humans are all fighting Android 19 and, and are barely holding their ground against even with Kyle Ken activated. Then they decide to do a combination attack while on their highest Kyle Ken level and would be that Krillin is on Kyle Ken times 20 while the other two are in Kyle Ken times 15. This heavily damages 19 but 19 activates Kyle Ken times 10 and is able to fight back against the human trio. Goku, Gohan, Vegeta and Nappa do sense this and they head toward the direction. 19 starts to take away Yamcha's energy and this shocks Tien and Krillin. Tien goes to Kaioken times 20 while Krillin goes to Kaioken times 25. They charge at 19 and start beating on him. Then they try to think of a plan on the fly but then 19 shoots an eye beam towards Krillin but Yamcha pushes him out the way and he gets blasted and this makes Krillin angry. He grabs a sensu bean, eats it so he can get his strength back and he tosses the bag of sensu beans to Tien and tells Tien to go help Yamcha. Then Krillin goes to Kaioken times 30 to go fight 19. King Kai tries to warn him that his body won't be able to handle it for long but Krillin keeps going. 19 is getting overwhelmed and Krillin is not giving 19 a chance to do anything. Krillin quickly charges up a destructo disc and shoots it so fast that it cuts off one of Android 19's hand. The Saiyan finally arrives and Krillin tells them that he got 19 and to go get Dr. Jiro. They listen to him and Goku is shocked at how much Krillin has grown as a warrior. Dr. Jiro starts to fly towards his lab while the Saiyans chase them. Back to Krillin, his body starts to give out and 19 is able to turn the tables on him and starts to beat on him. Tien and Yamcha come to his aid to hold off 19. Things aren't looking so good for Yamcha and Tien since they aren't even as strong as Krillin. Back to Krillin, even with his body giving out, he still has the strength to get up and put both his hands up in the sky, trying to axe the earth for energy. Well guys, that's where we're going to leave off part 7 of the Dragon Ball Z What If on What If Pickle Was Never Born. We hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.